Cultivated meat is a great way to produce meat without the environmental impact by providing the same experience and taste. However, cultivated meat companies cannot commercialize yet. It's because of the high cost. And actually 80% of that cost comes from the nutrition that the cells need for growing. So companies currently have two options available to them. One of them is an animal-based serum, which is derived from the blood of unborn animals, making it unsuitable for the ethical and sustainable aspirations of our customers. The second option is pharmaceutical grade growth factors and growth media, which just have a high price tag due to the high purity required for research and, and pharmacy. The way we eat and the way we live are not changing quickly enough. Therefore, we must innovate in the way we produce the meat. So we are making these specialized tailored nutrients for cultivated meat. The livestock and meat industry is responsible for a lot of the modern zoonotic diseases that we're seeing around the world. Part of that downfall is, is also because of the environment that, that we're producing this meat and, and that also gives rise to a lot of insecurities with the supply chain. So um, not only is it, is it kind of a, a way that, that's kind of damaging the world, but also in terms of the supply that there can be instances where a whole batch of meat is kind of not, not suitable uh, for market. And, and the, the way that the cultivated meat industry is fixing that is it's producing meat in a kind of a closed loop system uh, that, that is very clean in a way because it doesn't, it only requires the raw inputs for directly producing the meat and, and it's not open to the outside environment. Uh, so this way we can remove the re reliance on antibiotics. Uh, we can produce a meat product that isn't ridden with bacteria and, and therefore not only uh, does it provide a, a constant uh, supply of meat but also a constant supply of meat that is is better for, for the people consuming it and better for the environment as well. There has been different studies done and due to the rising food safety concerns, the sales of fresh meat alternatives increased by 255% this March compared to last March. Our key selling points are the fact that it is cheaper but also uh, can be produced at scale. So, so we're meeting all the performance, cost uh, and scale requirements of the cultivated meat industry. So we're a group of students from Imperial College London uh, and we got together through our shared uh, passion for synthetic biology uh, and then through a, a small student competition we got together with the idea that, that cultivated meat is a, a really exciting new technology, uh, but there's a, there's a big problem in that, and that's its cost. And at the core of that problem is the cost of the growth media. Uh, so we decided to start working on that uh, as, as a student project, and then, and then eventually through the competitions we went into to raise more money, uh, we saw the real commercial value in, in producing a, a, an animal-free growth media tailored towards the cultivated meat industry. Uh, and since then we went through a number of competitions including the Climate Launchpad, uh, so that's a global green business ideas competition and that gave us a platform uh, on a global stage to really get our message out there uh, and, and develop our business and then since then we've gone from strength to strength and actually right now we're in the, the first IndieBio New York cohort, uh, so that's a, a venture backed accelerator uh, that will run us through four months at this summer to really develop our first product and, and de-risk our company before we can raise the next round of fund. Yeah, it's been really great for us. So, so we got in through the open residency program, uh, which kind of gave us the space for a period of time to set up our own lab and access the, the communal facilities here, but also engage with the community around us. Uh, and as a, an early stage startup, having access to space like this that is cheaper than, than you would find in London uh, is really great for us and, and has been the reason that we've been able to, to carry on to this point.